Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Jodie if you're new here. If you are new here then welcome. Come in, come in, join the family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Along with many, many other things. We have so much fun over here on this channel even if I do say so myself. <laughs> But today this video is highly highly requested i finally got around to filming it so very very quickly all you're gonna need is your saint moritz tan which is the best fake tan in the entire world absolutely no other tan compares to it and the best thing about this is that it's 3.99 from b&m you cannot go wrong i've tried many many other fake tans over the years i've been wearing fake tan for about 15 years not even lying i've tried the more expensive ones and i've tried the cheaper ones and this is by far the best like i said b&m you could probably get it on amazon or whatever but i will link it down below so as well as this you are going to need a fake tan mitt i think this one's from primark uh, and i've had it ages so if you can get yourself to a primark definitely pick one up if not again i will link something similar down below i also use a fake tan mitt for removing it's a little bit rougher than that mitt and it is specifically for removing fake tan again i will link it down below but i do show it you in the clip and that is by far the best thing for removing your tan it is slightly abrasive but you've just got to be so so careful again i do mention it but this area here is so so pressure don't rub it too hard because Listen, girls, I've been there. I've taken the top layer of my skin off and it is not pleasant. But make sure you are being so, so careful on this bit. Also, when you're moisturising, make sure this bit is always nice and moisturised. When it comes to wearing fake tan, moisturising is important, but not just with your tan. You should be moisturising anyway. Like, moisturise, moisturise, moisturise. I cannot stress that enough. In the past, I haven't moisturised. Like, I just thought, oh, no, it's too sticky. I don't like wearing it, whatever. But make sure you find a moisturiser that is not too greasy, not sticky. The one that I use, again, is from B&M, and it's Vaseline, the Cocoa Radiant Fragrance. And it is so good, so moisturising, and it isn't sticky. It soaks straight into your skin. So that is one that I highly recommend. Again, so inexpensive, so cheap. And, yeah, we're going to get straight into the video. This is the first time I've ever done a voiceover, and I feel really, really professional. And just give me a round of applause love that for me so to start off remove your jewelry um obviously as you can see by my neck there this tan needs coming off tie that hair up go on gal get that shower on um so here we are using a saint tropez um like tan remover mitt i got mine from asos so i'll link it down below um and i use tea tree original sauce shower gel just be careful on this area of your neck and your chest because it is a really delicate area so you want to be really really careful there um next we're concentrating on our legs and our feet just getting rid of all them dead skin cells love it so we are done all nice and fresh ready for a fresh tan so now we're using the vaseline coco radiant um moisturizer i love this stuff it soaks straight into your skin does not make you feel greasy at all um concentrating it everywhere just everywhere get it all on there obviously making sure we are concentrating definitely on our neck and our chest area um but you want to get it everywhere knees feet hands everywhere so here we have the saint moritz tan and i like to start off with my neck and my chest oh a bit of boob there sorry about that <laughs> um so next moving on to our arms obviously as you can see i'm just using circular motions everywhere and now onto our hands just use whatever's left on the mitt and just be really really careful we don't need to be dealing with very dark knuckles not the vibe some people do use like um like a fluffy brush to do the hands um but i just tend to use just stick to my mitt so obviously now we are working on the stomach area go on girlfriend next we're going to be doing our back now you do need to be a contortionist maybe you want to do a few stretches before you do this <laughs> Um, but this bit does usually take me a while if you have got someone that can help you with your back um, then I would definitely recommend it because um, this bit does take a little bit of time just keep checking making sure that there's no white bits and obviously where there is just go over it blend it in girl go on so next we are covering <laughs> the flower there with my hand very very cute um, again just circular motions you've got to work fast with it if you put it on and leave it for any more than like a few seconds then you will end up with lines and we do not need that um 
So next, obviously, we are working on the tops of the legs and the booty. Um, TMI, but I would obviously usually do this naked, so it would be a little bit easier. But obviously, for this, this is a family show, and we do not need to be seeing my ass. Thank you very much. Uh, so moving on to the next leg. There we go. Um, making sure the back of your knees. Sometimes I get little white dots at the back of my knees there. So you just want to make sure we're all blended in. Hello, my darlings. Well, it is about... 30 degrees today which is absolutely scorching for the UK so today I thought I'd show you my fake tan routine so I've obviously gone through the whole thing you've seen the whole thing this morning I just wanted to just come on and quickly say that I don't actually have a fake tan for my face I don't fake tan my face using um, the St Moritz tan just because my skin is well i'm going through a whole thing with my skin at the minute which if you saw my recent vlog you'll know that like my skin is just not having a good time at the minute i'm caked in makeup right now it's too warm it's, it's so so warm just done a whole thing without pressing record so what i was saying was fucking brilliant I'm trying this thing at the minute where i'm not putting myself down so i was like oh god i've got such a large pause but it's a fact, I do have rather large pores because I've got oily skin and quite textured skin. Whenever I put fake tan on, like this summer it's tan, it sticks to like clogs inside my pores, uh, it sticks to any like uneven texture in my skin and things like that. At the minute I've got like really dry eyelids. I really don't understand what's going on with my face at the minute. It's just not okay. But we're living with it, it's fine. So I haven't got a tan for my face. I, I have tried like mists and stuff in the past, but if I have like fake tan on, and then put makeup over the top, my makeup ends up looking grey. I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced that, but it's just not the vibe we're going for, Huns. So yeah, so I don't actually tan my face. I'm not gonna lie to you, every now and then I do go on the sunbed. I'm not recommending it to anybody, and I know that like any like dermatologists that are out there, or anyone that deals with skincare will probably go crazy at the fact that you know, people do still go on sunbeds, but it just sometimes just is that little boost that I need because like, like I said, I am going through like a skin. Who is that? Is that the postman? What the hell? No, that is something that you don't see every day. I'm going through a whole skin thing at the minute. I'm doing a lot of research. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos this afternoon on skincare and stuff, some trying different things. I came on here just to tell you that I don't actually have a facial tanner at the minute because I haven't found one that I really like. Again, it's probably something that I'm gonna do a little bit of research on so that I don't have to keep using the sunbeds. They're obviously very, very bad for your health. And I am not proud of the fact that I use them. I just don't wanna to lie to you and say that I never go on them because I do every now and then but yeah my natural skin color is so white i was a little ginger ginger nut growing up um i will insert a cute little pic for you this needs to sort just be sorted out do you know what i get put under so much pressure like i do my tan all the time and it I'm not gonna lie it turns out perfect and then whenever i'm doing it for a specific reason i always manage to just like f it up somewhere Hopefully I've shaved my armpit. Maybe two days old, but it's fine. So, at this point now, I'm just gonna let the tan sit for a little bit. Sometimes I'll sleep in it. Depends what kind of, what time of day I've done it. So it's like middle of the day, like, it's like three o'clock. I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit. We are going to the gym in a bit, so I probably will have a shower after a couple of hours just to wash it off before I go to the gym. Just because I do not want to be sweating orange sweat beads not attractive. To be honest, this fake tan doesn't smell. I don't think it does. And then once I've washed it off, I'll come back and show you the final result. So it's now the day after. And so I showered last night when we got in from the gym and I've showered again this morning. So I have showered a couple of times since I've done my tan. I did put a second layer on my chest this morning just because I do like a darker neck and a darker chest, but the rest of my body is absolutely fine. But honestly, I really, really do believe that this is the best fake tan in the world. Like, I don't care what anyone says. I do think, like, with anything, depending on your skin type, it's just depending on each person, but I do believe that this is the best fake tan in the world, and I love it so, so much. I look very, very brown, but I don't feel orange. Like, when I was at school, I was orange. Like, I, I think I used to use, like, Amber Solar, Spray, Dove, I mean, I always recommend Dove uh, gradual tanner now, like especially for people that don't like tanning or don't want a deep, deep tan. Um, I always think that Dove gradual tanner is amazing. Obviously, you're moisturizing your body and it tans you as well. I do really, really like that. But I, for me, it's just not dark enough. 
<laughs> it's not dark you know but practice does make perfect and if it is you know some people just can't be asked doing it like i thought some people like oh no i just can't be asked doing my own tan the, the tan that i'm using is really really good because obviously you can see where you're putting it so you can see if you get like a streak like i had one here um has it gone has it gone i'm not sure about that you can see if it's streaked so you just put a little bit more on but always make sure you check in the back of your legs the back of your ankles okay my love so that is the end of the video i really really hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments down below go and follow me over on instagram it's at jovi underscore <laughs> come here i really really hope you enjoyed it if there's anything you want to see from me in the future then please leave a comment down below and let me know go into this next week smashing them goals and working towards them dreams and i will see you in next week's video bye Mwah!